the parking lot was a lake. The water was gushing out from a doorway uh, just inside the foyer, which sent water into the basement. A Montreal West Island community organization dedicated to fighting food insecurity suffered massive flooding when a water main burst under their building on September 24th, and that all comes after a freezer malfunction earlier in the same month. On Rock Community Services saw significant damages to their basement, which stores non-perishable food items and Christmas gifts for families. All of that was damaged with founder Kim Reed estimating 80 to $100,000 of food destroyed. Yeah, for about four days, we were out without water. We had to rent a porta potty uh, so that, because we can't stop doing the business that we do. Like some of the other stores around here, they just close. You know, the hairdresser, close. I'll come back when everything's back. back. We're feeding families. We can't do that. While visiting the center, Reed said their mission is to help the community, saying these events were a giant hit to the organization as their grocery store and restaurant additions are in construction with minimal water damage. This was our Christmas room, so we had um, a pile of Christmas gifts, like a hundred or so, in here, just all stacked up on the floor, and then we realized the Christmas gifts are going to get wet, and we looked in the room and the bottom of the boxes were were like that much wet. Reed, his daughter Kayla, and his team said though the challenge was prominent, it didn't shy away from their goal of helping others in the community. So that day was actually a day that we serve clients. So it was kind of like, okay, we our doors open at two o'clock. How do we make that still happen? We had no power, we had no water, and our basement was flooding. And we're going, how do we still serve our clients at two o'clock? So you're still serving them? Oh yeah. And uh, we did it. We serve almost 300 families a week. So it's a great example that people do need food banks. Reed said they are back in operation and looking to the public in Montreal West Island community for monetary and food donations. I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> it's, we're, we're where we're at. Um, we're building that grocery store. What happens after we build the grocery store? Is that going to be the end of it? Maybe. Or maybe there's another chapter to be written. Who knows? In Pierre Fall, the host of the Austere City News.